So what exactly is the biocontrol agent? Let's try to understand this concept. We all know agricultural activities. So there are so many steps in the agricultural activities like there is sowing, there is reaping, even uh, irrigation time, harvesting time, storage time. So uh, every time agricultural activities are going on, there are problems that the agricultural activities are always threatened by pathogens and pests. Now these are two different words. Pathogens are disease causing organisms and pests are something like insects, rodents or rats. So those things which happen to spoil the crop are called as pests and those that develop infection in the crop plants are called as pathogens. And uh, to be uh, more precise, both of them are uh, go finally going to affect uh, adversely the uh, crop. That's why both of them are bad for the agricultural activities. So uh, all the agricultural activities depend, up, uh, depend upon these steps and these steps are always threatened by pathogens and pests. So that's why from the beginning the custom or the system in this uh, in the country is in the agricultural activities that we try to kill or remove these pathogens and pests so initially there was a, a lot of chemicals synthesized in the industries for agricultural activities and those chemicals are called as pesticides now uh, pest uh, pest or you can even say the pathogenocides because they are going to kill even the pathogens also so these chemical pesticides, they have uh, good, uh, good points also, for example, they are fast in the mode of action. So the farmer do not have to spend a lot of time removing each and every pest from the uh, crop plants. So just spray these chemicals or sprinkle these chemicals and all the insects are going to die or all the pests and pathogens are going to die. And then it reduces the attack from the pathogen and remove or kills the insects bombs birds so that damage the crop so we all know these chemicals had been in have been in use for a long time in our country also but uh, we all know that there are some negative points also regarding these chemicals so uh, there is one more point that uh, despite the use of these chemicals so we are using increasing and increasing amount of these chemical pesticides there is always some significant reduction so you can say 10 to 20 percent still there would be crop production which gets lost due to these pathogens and pests and reason is it is something it is something like we all use uh, mosquito repellent uh, things at home like mortine is there uh, and we all know every year they bring up new ads uh, that now mortine is three times more stronger reason mosquitoes are developing resistance against them. So in the same manner because these chemical pesticides are used on a large scale throughout the country. So these pathogens and pests they are developing resistance against these chemicals. And then another bad point is that these chemicals are toxic and they can easily enter into the food chain and as they enter the food chain your 10th class topic of biomagnification if you remember the DDT example was in the uh, help books of 10th class so these chemicals can enter into the food chain so once they enter into the plant from plants they go into the herbivores then carnivores or you can consider because human is at the topmost level so we will have the maximum concentration of these poisonous or toxic chemicals inside the body. So this uh, has m more uh, negative points for example it kills even the harmless as well as useful organisms also because obviously if some, some chemical is intervening with the respiration or uh, uh, or the process of uh, gene expression because these chemicals are bad so obviously they will go they are going to harm the good insects also birds also and it finally it also uh, harm the human being and then it also pollutes the soil as well as water so therefore instead of eradication complete removal of pests and pathogen by the use of chemical and uh, to be more precise harmful chemical it is better to use biocontrol agents. Now uh, biocontrol agents do not completely kill these microorganisms or do not completely remove them from the ecosystem. Instead these biocontrol agents will keep them in a manageable number by following a system of checks and balances in the ecosystem. So let me repeat. Uh, the chemical fertilizers, sorry, chemical pesticides are going to kill 
uh, irrespective whether they are harmful, harmless or useful organisms, the biocontrol agents are only going to keep them in a uh, manageable number. That means uh, the numbers will be brought down but will not be completely killed. So that means the micro these organisms are going to stay in the ecosystem because definitely if something is present in the ecosystem, it is maintaining the balance in the ecosystem. Because if you remember your 10th class topic of food chain and food web, the more complex the food web is, more stable is the ecosystem. So if you start removing these insects, because from our point of view, these insects are bad, but from the ecosystem point of view, they are an important part of some food chain. So if they are removed from the food chain, the chains are going to become um, imbalanced. And definitely this will cause problem in the ecosystem. So an organic farmer knows very well that eradication of any organism regardless it is whether it is harmful, harmless or useful is wrong. So it is not good to remove these organisms completely as without them what will happen? Those which depend upon them in their food chain. So there are organisms which depends upon them. They are called as predators and parasites they will also die because those insects are going to be a food for them thus this disturbs the whole ecosystem